The world has become more complex and the public service must learn to be adaptable and work together across various agencies and ministries to solve problems. That was what Mr Wong Kan Singh, Deputy Prime Minister and Coordinating Minister for National Security, emphasised at the 2011 Administrative Service Dinner and Promotion Ceremony on Monday evening. Our economy has rebounded strongly from the global financial crisis, but we are well aware that the post-recession economic backdrop remains uncertain. While we will benefit as the advanced economies recover and as the emerging economies continue to grow, risk still remain. Budget cuts in the advanced economies may dampen their growth prospects. Some European countries face sovereign debt concerns. Inflationary pressures is rising in Asia. Recent months have seen much political uncertainty in the Middle East, and we should closely monitor this and assess how this could impact us. We may also see resource constraints. We face the prospects of global climate change concern, with natural disasters and political upheavals in producing countries, the prices of commodities, especially oil and gas, have become more volatile. Even as we attune ourselves to sense the global winds of change, we must also listen to the rustling of the grass. Locally, we must keep our ears to the ground and engage the public so that we can develop sound public policies that will better serve the needs of Singaporeans. We need a public service which is resilient, adaptable and decisive, particularly in dealing with uncertainty and in crisis situations. This is why we need to equip officers with such qualities and also with skills for emerging areas. The public service must also be adept to the growing presence of the new media. This is increasingly being used by our government agencies for various means, communication, consultation and engagement. The government's online platforms face a significant challenge in retaining mindshare if they do not continuously improve and remain relevant to the public. Yet, we also need to think through when and how we engage online. It is critical for ministries to work collaboratively to navigate this new platform. Deputy Prime Minister Wong also stressed the importance of government agencies working together as an integrated and networked government. Our networks must be extensive and integrated to bring diverse people and agencies together. They must also be interdependent as different capabilities exist in different domains. Many, place, many issues now affect multiple agencies and require a whole-of-government response. This year, 63 administrative officers were promoted. Administrative officers are responsible for developing and implementing national policies in consultation with the government. In his speech, DPM Wong paid tribute to two recently retired public servants, Mr. Peter Ho and Mr. Liu Heng San. Mr. Peter Ho, aged 56, was in the public service for 34 years and was among the pioneer batches of Singapore Armed Forces Overseas Scholars. He has held appointments as Permanent Secretary at Ministry of Defence and Ministry of Foreign Affairs. He was also key in setting up the National Security Coordination Secretariat, which undertakes the task of strengthening coordination of security agencies in Singapore. Meanwhile, Mr. Liu Heng San, aged 55, has dedicated 31 years to public service. He was the first chief executive of the Land Transport Authority in 1995. When he was CEO of the Central Provident Fund in September 2005, he implemented the CPF Life and the Workfare Income Supplement Scheme, which aims to supplement the wages and CPF savings of older wage workers as well as to encourage them to stay employed.